All right, we need to uh, explore here a topic, uh, limits at infinity. <coughs> That's the way we phrase it. <coughs> um, and let's just look at <coughs> this function, uh, f of x equals x minus 2 over x squared minus 4, which is one I think we explored before with limits. Uh, so we're going back to discussing limits a little more. Previously, what we did is we talked about well, what's at the limit as x approaches 2 of this function, all right? And then we could use our little techniques. Uh, in this case, we'd use factoring. I mean, we started off doing it with a table, actually. This very same problem we did with a table. But then we figured out, well, it's a little easier if, uh, if we go and uh, factor that. Right, cancel, and then we can plug in uh, plug in our numbers. Be one over two plus two is one four. All right, so <clears throat> that's that's what we did previously. What now we're going to talk about is the limit as x not goes to a number, but x goes to an infinity, positive infinity or negative infinity. We'll do positive infinity here. <laughs> and the same techniques will not apply here. We're not going to want to factor here um, and do that. I'll show you what we'll do later, but just to kind of get a feel for, for what happens here, well, <clears throat> if I look at a table of values, What x values am I talking about? I'm looking at x goes to infinity. So I'm talking about large x values. 10, 100, 1,000. Let x go to infinity and uh, see what you get there. <clears throat> what we'll see is uh, something interesting. That'd be 8 over <clears throat> we get uh, 0 0.00988 so tens, 0 0.0833 if I put it in this one, <clears throat> and then with a thousand. Point zero 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 nine nine eight. <clears throat> and so what we uh, what we find out here is yeah these looks like these values are going going to zero aren't they? So we could we could still do that with the table. I mean that's we I don't even think we'll have to do anything quite like that. But kind of get us into the thinking. So x is going to infinity. So the x is going larger and larger and larger. Well. <clears throat> the, uh, the other way we can look at this is if you look at the graph of this thing, there's a hole in two, by the way. We kind of see the same thing because what's happening as x goes out to infinity is that, yeah, this thing is leveling off and it's leveling off at the uh, level is, uh, is y equals zero. <clears throat> so that's kind of confirming what we uh, what we got in this table here. 
So that, that's the idea of what we're looking at here, is what's happening as we go out to infinity. Or in uh, the other case, negative infinity. So that's the, uh, the handout I give you there. So what I've got on the handout is on number one, <clears throat> kind of the same, same idea, but uh, kind of put it in kind of a generic format here. So this is y equals f of x. Yeah, so what I'm looking at when I'm talking about the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x, I'm looking at what happens on the graph on the far right. And in this case, the limit as x goes to infinity on the far right, it levels off at L, doesn't it? <clears throat> and then on number two, same, same idea. This is f of x here. And so the limit as x goes to negative infinity of f of x. Yeah, so if you've got this, you got this function, and as you go out to the negative infinity as far as x goes, and it levels off at a certain level. I guess why I picked L there, but well no, I think it's limit, actually. But uh, <clears throat> yeah. That's what you've got uh, when you have a, as x goes to negative infinity, if you've got a number, that's, that's what the graph, graph is going to show, okay? Now, <clears throat> another way to phrase this is, uh, what we also have when we have these limits, our L at positive or negative infinity, we also have what's known as a horizontal asymptote. In both cases here, we've got a horizontal asymptote of y equals L. Remember, horizontal line. Horizontal lines, y equals a number. And so <clears throat> this horizontal asymptote, that's just given kind of a name to this dotted line here. That dotted line is y equals L. And it's a horizontal asymptote in those cases. Okay? <clears throat> so a number... Uh, Three, draw it up here. to it anyway. <clears throat> Vaguely uh, what it looks like. <clears throat> and now it has it much nicer, cleaner. Alright, so let's let's just talk about a couple of limits here. Alright, so what would be the limit here as x goes to infinity? Well it's what the graph levels off to on the far right. What happens on the far right? So it looks like it's leveling off somewhere in this vicinity, right? Whatever that is. Uh, I'm gonna say five. Five sound good? Looks like it's going up to five. So that would be the limit as x goes to negative. It's what goes on the far right. Then the limit as x goes to negative infinity This function, it's y equals f of x. So I'll call it all three of them f of x. So, <clears throat> so negative infinity, it's what happens on the far left. And so what happens on the far left here is this one looks like it's leveling off in this vicinity here, which I believe is 2. I'm trying to gauge it there. About 2. So the limit will be 2. And so those are the ones we'll kind of focus on, but 
just kind of in review now, all right, so what about, uh, there's more review problems here. What's the limit as x approaches negative 1? Well, that goes back to several days ago. Um, if I'm looking at the limit as x approaches a number from a, for, from a graph perspective, remember what we had to do? We had to look from the left and the right. And so from negative 1, if, as x approaches negative 1, I've got to look from the left and from the right. And it just so happens in this case, it works out because what happens as I approach negative 1 from the left and from the right? What do they go to? Infinity. <coughs> Uh, the limit as x approaches 2, well, that's a different story because what happens there? From the left, it's going to negative infinity. From the right, it's going, looks like, to positive infinity. The two don't match. So what happens that What do we say there? It does not exist. <clears throat> your limit from your left doesn't match your limit from the right. And so what we could, we could specify, well, the limit as x approaches 2 from the minus side, that's, remember that notation, that's, that's 2 from the left. And so 2 from the left, that goes to negative infinity. So they may ask you about uh, specific left or right, but if it doesn't say specifically left or right, they got to both match for it to exist, remember that, just to review that. The other thing they'll ask on these is also then, what are the equations of the asymptotes? <clears throat> equations of the asymptotes. Well, uh, we just mentioned here the horizontal asymptotes. That's where it levels off on uh, either the left or right. So the horizontal asymptotes here. <clears throat> There, we've got two of them. <coughs> a lot of times functions just have one, but I made this function up, so I can do whatever I wanted. And I've got, so I've got two horizontal asymptotes, don't I? And it's y equals l, so I've got uh, y equals this l and y equals that l. So it'd be y equals 5 and y equals 2. With me there? <coughs> but because of the other structure of this thing, where I have these uh, infinity or negative infinity, uh, the limits equal to those. Um, those are vertical asymptotes, aren't they? I didn't draw them in here, but uh, you've also got at these infinite limits, you've got these vertical asymptotes. So there's two vertical asymptotes as well. And remember, those are vertical lines, and so they would be, um, the form of them would be x equals a number. So it'd be x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. I think we talked about those uh, previously as well. <clears throat> okay? Any questions on those? Look okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> 